What jihad is? What jihad is? The Arabic word jihad comes from the word jihada, which means making an effort, struggling or striving. In Islamic terminology it is explained as every activity and or movement on the way of Allah. So, in reality it covers a spectrum of deeds and actions all dedicated for the sole purpose of bettering oneself to please Allah. The simplest of which may be removing a thorn off the road or smiling to your fellow Muslim all the way to defending one's home country and or religion. The word jihad is often interpreted as holy war in Western languages. Such an interpretation stems from the efforts of Western media and anti-Islamists to show Islam as a religion of violence which spreads by force and weapon. This could not be further from the truth. Allah in the Quran says, Fight in the cause of God those who fight you, but do not transgress limits, for God loves not transgressors. Quran.com 2190 Fight in order to raise the word of Allah, against those of the disbelievers who fight you to turn you away from the religion of Allah. But do not overstep the limits of Allah by killing children, women, the elderly, or by mutilating the dead and so on. Allah does not love those who overstep the limits he has established and made sacred. Al-Baqarah, 190 And in the same surah, Allah announces. There is no compulsion in religion, Quran.com 2 256. No one is forced to enter the religion of Islam, as it is clearly the true religion and there is no need to force anyone to believe in it. Truth stands clear from falsehood. Whoever rejects all those things that are worshipped besides Allah and frees himself from them, and has faith in Allah alone, has held on to the strongest rope for salvation on the day of resurrection and which will never break. Allah hears the statements of his servants, knows their actions and will reward them accordingly. Al-Baqarah, 256 There is no compulsion in Islam in any way or form as shown in those verses. There is only jihad war against aggressors and transgressors. There is no denying of people and groups committing atrocities in the name of Islam and the world is calling them Islamic terrorists. The brief definition of terrorism is that it is a form of warfare in which innocent people are specifically targeted in order to instill fear in a society. Hence, terrorism is against Islamic principles. Those calling themselves Muslims and at the same time terrorizing innocents, this is not Islamic behavior or sanctioned by Islam. What jihad is not? Jihad is not a purely violent concept. Jihad is not a declaration of war against the other people, countries, or religions. It is worth noting that the Quran specifically refers to Jews and Christians as people of the book, who should be protected and respected as all three faiths worship the same one God. Allah is the Arabic word for God, and in fact is used by Christian Arabs as well as Muslims. Military action in the name of religion has not been common in the history of Islam. Most Islamic scholars say calls for combat, armed jihad, are sanctioned by Islam only in case of defense or in fear of or lifting aggression and injustice. On the other hand, warfare in the name of God is not unique to Islam. Other faiths throughout the world have waged wars with religious justifications, such as the Crusades. Categories of Jihad One can categorize jihad in Islam into two categories, non-armed jihad and armed jihad. Non-armed jihad is in fighting ignorance, Satan, and oneself and its desires, while armed jihad is fighting enemies, tyrants, and aggressors. So, kinds of jihad in Islam vary immensely. Islamic scholars identified several types of jihad in light of their deep understanding and extensive studying of Quran. Sunnah of the Prophet, peace and blessing from Allah be upon him, and the practice of his companions, may Allah be pleased with them. Here is a comprehensive idea about the real Islamic view of jihad and its types. Jihad against ignorance. Jihad against Satan. Jihad against oneself and its desires. Jihad with weapons against al kufr the disbelievers, and al munafikin the hypocrites. Jihad with weapons against al ath thalm the people of injustice, tyrants, and aggressors. In order to comprehend each type the following is a detailed explanation of them, first non-armed jihad then armed jihad. Non-armed jihad. It is of three types that are not in actual combat but in fact acts to better one and others' lives. Jihad against ignorance. Jihad against Satan. Jihad against oneself and its desires. 1. Jihad against ignorance. The very first word revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an order to read, Ikra, read. In the name of your Lord who created, despite the fact that he was illiterate so he explained it to the Muslims as an order to seek knowledge. It is a divine command to learn and convey knowledge both religious and mundane. Let there arise out of you a band of people inviting to all that is good, enjoining what is right, and forbidding what is wrong, evil, they are the ones to attain felicity. Quran.com 3104
Let there be from you, O believers, a group who calls to all that is good and loved by Allah, instructing people to do what is right from the sacred law and from what you know to be good and just. And forbidding what is wrong, which is prohibited by the sacred law and which you know to be wrong and unjust. The people who do this will have complete success in this world and the afterlife. Al Imran, 104. The Quran is a miraculous medication that is enough to cure the material and spiritual illnesses of individual and social wounds not only of the one nation but also of all the people to come until the day of judgment, we send down in the Quran healing and mercy for the believers. But it increases the wrongdoers only in loss, Quran.com 1782. And I reveal in the Quran that which cures the hearts of ignorance, disbelief and doubt, cures the bodies when treated through it, and that which is a mercy for the believers who practice it. And this Quran only increases the disbelievers in destruction, as listening to it angers them and makes them deny and turn away from it even more. Al-Isra, 82. The duty of presenting this miraculous cure to humanity was given to Muslims. 2. Jihad against Satan Struggling against Satan means to defend oneself from his evil whisperings, his doubtful matters, his temptations, and his lustfulness. Verily Satan is an enemy to you, so treat him as an enemy. Quran.com 35 6 O people, the Satan is for you an enemy whose enmity is everlasting, so take him as an enemy by committing to fighting him. The Satan only calls his followers towards disbelief in Allah so that their outcome is to enter the burning fire on the day of judgment. Those who disbelieved in Allah by following the Satan will have a severe punishment. And those who believe in Allah and do good actions will have forgiveness from Allah for their sins and will have a great reward from him which is paradise. Yasin 6-7 Allah's straight path will have a severe punishment due to their forgetting the day of reckoning, because if they were to remember it and fear it they would not incline to their desires. Imam Ibn al qayyim said, There are two types of jihad against Satan. First, jihad against him to disregard the misgivings and doubts he arises to invalidate Iman, faith. Second, jihad against him by ignoring what he tempts one with erroneous intentions and desires. Achieving certainty, concerning faith, comes after practicing first type of this jihad, while successfully observing patience is the result of practicing the second type. Allah says, And we made from among them, children of Israel, leaders, giving guidance under our command, when they were patient and used to believe with certainty in our ayat, signs, verses etc., 32:24. And I made leaders from the children of Israel whom the people would emulate and follow. They became guides to the truth when they were patient in calling others to Allah and fulfilling the commands of Allah and refraining from his prohibitions. And when they firmly believed in his ayahs that were revealed to their messengers. As Sajda, 24. In this verse Allah stated that achieving the status of being leaders in the religion is done by practicing patience and feeling yakin, certainty in Allah and that Islam is the only true guidance. Etc. Patience defeats desires and ill intentions, while certainty defeats doubts and misgivings. 3. Jihad against one's self and its desires Muslim believers are warned against the trickery of the soul in Quran, nor follow thou the lusts, of thy heart, for they will mislead thee from the path of Allah. Quran.com 3826 O David, I made you a deputy on earth to execute worldly and religious rulings and judgments, so judge between people with justice. And do not follow desires in your judgment between people, by inclining towards one of the disputants due to relationship or friendship, or by turning away from him due to enmity. Whereby desires will misguide you from Allah's straight path. Those who go astray from. Surah Sad, 26. In the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him on returning from a battle, the Prophet, PBUH, said, We have returned to the great jihad from the small jihad. Kanzu Elamal, 4, 430, Hadith No. 11260. He expressed concisely that overcoming one's soul was more difficult and more important than fighting the enemy. The Prophet, peace be upon him, stated that, your greatest enemy is your soul, which is inside you. Ajluni, Kashfu el Kafa, Beirut, I, 143, Hadith No. 413, showing how difficult it is to fight one's self-desires, forcing yourself to follow the orders of Allah, have the best manners, the best morals, and to stay away from what Allah has ordered us to stay away from. This includes performing the obligatory and the voluntary, and to abandon all acts that are haram, unlawful, or makru, disliked, at a time when our desires tell us the opposite. The messenger, peace be upon him, said, during his farewell hajj, should I inform you of whom the mu'min, true believer, is? It is he who people are secure from him with regards to their wealth and their own selves. The, true, Muslim is he who people are safe from, being harmed by, his tongue and hand. The mujahid, true warrior, is he who performs jihad and nafs, fights himself, in the obedience of Allah. And the Muhajir, the migrant in the cause of Allah, is he who abandons error and sin, Ahmed, Al-Hakim, and At-Tabarani. He concisely expressed that overcoming one's erroneous impulses is much harder to accomplish than defeating the enemy. Armed Jihad 
It is of two types that involve actual fighting in arms. It has rules and regulations that Islam put to protect all parties in war including the enemy civilians, religion, and property. Jihad al kufr the disbelievers, and al munafikan the hypocrites. Imam Ibn al kayyim said, as for Jihad al kufr wal munafikan they are also four types. With the heart, tongue, wealth, and oneself, body. Jihad al kufr is usually practiced with the hand, while Jihad al munafikan is usually practiced by the tongue, by refuting them and exposing their misguided ways, etc. Hypocrites are considered more dangerous than disbelievers as they dwell within the Muslim society unknown corrupting it from the inside. Imam Ibn al kayyim also said, Jihad with the clear proofs and the tongue comes before jihad with the sword and the spear, Qasida and Nuniya. That is conveying the message of Islam precedes raging war and starting jihad. This concept is the interpretation of these verses of Quran, but strive hard against them, the disbelievers, by preaching, with the utmost endeavor, with it, the Quran, 25 52. So do not follow the disbelievers in their demands for you to be soft with them and in the proposals that they put forward. Strive against them with this Quran that is revealed to you a mighty struggle by being patient over their harm and tolerating difficulties in calling them to Allah. Al Firkin, 52. Those who believe fight in the cause of Allah, and those who reject faith fight in the cause of evil. So fight you against the friends of Shaitan, Satan, feeble indeed is the cunning of Shaitan, and Nisa, 4 hours 76 minutes. The true believers fight in the path of Allah in order to raise his word. The disbelievers, on the other hand, fight in the path and way of Satan. So fight the supporters of Satan. If you fight them, you will defeat them, because Satan's strategy is weak and it cannot harm those who place their reliance in Allah. Isa, 76. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said. The example of the Mujahid, who performs jihad, in the cause of Allah, and only Allah knows who is truly performing jihad in his cause, is the example of he who is both a saim, fasting, and a kaim, standing up in voluntary prayers. Al Bukhari. In case of war, there are clear directions in what can and cannot be done in a battle fought by the Muslims. Ethics of wars have been established by Islam almost 1,400 years ago long before the Geneva Conventions. Here are the highlights of Islamic war ethics. Civilians who are not fighting against Muslims are not to be attacked or killed at all. Crops or other sources of food and water and cattle or other animals are not to be destroyed, take only what is used to feed the troops with its fair price. Hospitals, orphanages and other places of safety and refuge are not to be destroyed. Mosques, churches, synagogues or other places of worship are not to be destroyed. Women, children, old and disabled are to be left untouched, all that are not involved in fighting. If the aggressor stops the aggression or offers a treaty it should be accepted and the fighting stop forthwith. Fleeing oppressors need not be pursued to any unnecessary length and should be allowed to return to their home if they repent and are trusted. Prisoners of war should be treated with mercy, their basic needs fulfilled and they should be freed, ransomed, or exchanged after the battle. Hence it is very clear that the purpose of combat is to restore peace, lift oppression, injustice and lift ignorance of Islam's truth, and not to promote aggression. It is important to note that starting of such a battle is not only in the hands of the Muslims but can be initiated by an oppressor, a tyrant or an aggressor. Jihad Alu ATH Thalm, the people of injustice, tyrants and aggressors. Some Muslim scholars have included this kind of jihad in other types but due to its utmost importance during present times, we have put it individually to give it proper attention. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said. The most excellent type of jihad is speaking a word of truth, recognizing and declaring committed injustice and objecting to it, in the presence of a tyrant ruler. Imams Abu Dawd. At Termathai and Ibn Majah. Abu Sa'id al Qudri narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, He amongst you who witnesses an evil, let him change, remove, stop, it with his hand. If unable, then with his tongue, and if unable, then within his heart, and this indeed is the weakest iman, faith practice, Muslim. Ibn Masud narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, there was no prophet whom Allah has sent before me but who had disciples and friends from among his nation who would follow his sunnah and obey his commands. Then, new generations would come, those who would say that which they do not practice, and practice that which they were not commanded. He who performs jihad against them, such misguided and deviated people, with his hand is a believer, he who performs jihad against them with his tongue is a believer. And he who performs jihad against them within his heart is a believer. There is nothing, no lesser faith, less than this, even the weight of a mustard seed. Muslim. To conclude, Islamic laws are ordained to protect five things, one's self, mind, religion, offspring, and property, which are the main rights of humans in this life. Jihad is allowed in Islam to bring peace, prosperity, and justice to whomever is in need for them and Muslims are obliged to fight against tyranny. Oppression and injustice by every means possible to bring peace, prosperity, and justice to all humans.